Hey everybody, Timmy here. So I'm coming at you with another video about this whole email controversy with the Democratic National Committee because things just got hot. Uh, we had Donald Trump a little while ago talking to MSNBC's Katie Turr saying that the Russian government had anything to do with the email leaks from the DNC. He would like to see more. And then uh, the uh, Democratic National Committee, the interim chairwoman Donna Brazil comes back and says, well, that's really disturbing because that means we got a nominee of a major political party conspiring with a foreign government to perform espionage in our own country. Oy vey. Okay? Uh, I'm not Jewish, but oy vey. Alright, and then we got Julian Assange. This is nuts. We got Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, saying that... This is just the beginning. The emails that came out that made Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the now former chair of the Democratic National Committee, resign at the beginning of the week. Um, look at these. Look at this story I found on US Uncut about the nine emails the DNC doesn't want you to see. Take a look at these. Take a look. Number one, the DNC's communications director was always eager to point out negative angles for Bernie Sanders stories. Big surprise. Number two, Debbie Walsh Washman Saltz privately called the Clinton the presumptive nominee while accusing Sanders of not being a Democrat. Number three, DNC officials worked closely with the Hillary Clinton campaign to respond to the Sanders money laundering allegation. Number four, a political reporter agreed to allow the DNC to edit his stories about Clinton. Are you kidding me? Number five, DNC staff automatically dismissed interview requests from quote Bernie bros. I really hate that term. What in the flying fuck is a Bernie bro? Come on! Number six, Washerman Schultz demanded an apology from MSNBC's Mika Brzezinski, demanding that she must resign. Number seven, DNC staffers knew Sanders would destroy Washerman Schultz in a one on one segment. You're frickin' right he would. Number eight, DNC staffers seemed to know Clinton would be the nominee with nearly two months left to go in the primaries. Duh? Number nine, the DNC may have had plants inside the Sanders campaign. A whole new low. So according to Julian Assange, that's just a sample of what he's got. And then you got Donald Trump, the Republican nominee for President of the United States, saying, Russia, if you know anything, throw it at us. Come on. Come on. Holy shit. Oh my god. And then we had Bernie Sanders last night do the honorable thing, went to the convention floor, tears in his eyes, the most emotional night of his life probably, the 74-year-old guy who's dedicated his whole life to public service to nominate this woman, Hillary Clinton, uh, the woman in the party that he worked with in the primaries for the last year, not to screw him out of the nomination, and he did the gentlemanly professional thing and nominated her on the floor. He didn't do it by proclamation, though. I will note that. Uh, by by tradition, you're supposed to do it by proclamation. Um, that, that basically, let the record show that by proclamation, our convention nominates so-and-so to be the next president of the United States. He did not say in those exact words. He said, let the record show the exact number of delegates each of us had. And I uh, moved to suspend the rules and name Hillary Clinton the nominee of the Democratic Party to be the next president of the United States. He did the most gentlemanly thing ever, knowing that he got fucked. So that's pretty much it. The Democratic National Committee has committed to Hillary Clinton being the nominee for the Democratic Party to be the next president of the United States. Meanwhile, we got Julian Assange in exile, okay, sitting there saying, I'm going to drop more email bombs. This is just the tip of the iceberg about Hillary Clinton. And then we got Donald Trump begging Russia, please, Russia, please give us more. This is nuts, okay? And, and the... This doesn't even cover the Bernie revolution. The burners are pissed. The fuel, the burners, the Bernie bros, whatever you want to call them, the Bernie or bust people, they are pissed. 
pissed, pissed, pissed because they feel like they got cheated out of a once in a lifetime candidate for president. They feel like they got cheated out of the revolution. They feel like they got cheated out of an actual change candidate. The revolution will continue though. Bernie Sanders did start a revolution and it will continue like I said in previous videos, but these emails and the prospect that they can keep coming out week after week after week after week after week damaging Hillary Clinton's trustworthiness and, and just her, her public image, which is already at an all-time historic low for a Democratic nominee. Folks, the reality of Donald Trump getting elected to be the 45th President of the United States grows with increasing magnitude every single day. If you don't believe what I'm saying right now about the state of the race and what these emails could do to Hillary Clinton's candidacy, take a look at these polls. So this was an article just published by CNN a day ago about the Republican National Convention, stating Clinton's ratings on these same measures took a hit, though in most cases her drop-off was not quite as large as Trump's gain. Perhaps most troubling for the Clinton supporters gathering in Philadelphia this week, 68% now say Clinton is not trustworthy enough to be President of the United States. Only 32% of those who are going to vote for her or who are Democrats say she's trustworthy. Now we got Donald Trump baiting Russia into doing espionage on the United States and hacking into the DNC or continuing to hack into the DNC. And we got Julian Assange saying, more is coming, baby. Dude, this general election is just heating up. And I just feel bad for Bernie Sanders. I still think Hillary Clinton's the best shot we got right now against Donald Trump, but holy shit. I just can't believe politics got that dirty and the Democrats were so desperate to make history, so desperate to nominate a woman to be president of the United States. They just scooped an all-time low to make sure it happened. They rigged the Democratic process. The Democratic Party rigged the democratic process to make sure it was the first party to elect a black president and the first party to try to elect a woman president. God help us all. All right, everybody, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, please like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at Timmy Mims. I'm coming at you daily, weekly, with uh, pop culture news, TV news, movie news, political news, anything that's relevant in the world. I'm freaking talking about it, and I'm going nuts over it. And I want to hear what you have to say. Join the revolution. You are the resistance. That's Alex Jones. He's batshit crazy. No, but as I always say, love and peace, y'all. Take care of each other.